if you could just share a little bit about yourself and what kind of started you, and since I kind of already know all this stuff, but the people that are watching this video will not know anything about you. So if you could just start out by telling a little bit about yourself and what started you on this journey for olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Um. Okay. So let's see. They're almost 10 years in. Um. It'll be 10 years in December that I've been selling olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Um, at the time I had a family member that was, um, being told to be put on blood pressure medication. So me being the naturalist that I am, I started, you know, doing a lot of research on what you can do to change your chemistry or those levels. Um, olive oil popping up and I was just, I would just discard it, delete it. Cause I had tried olive oil years ago and I was like, no, this stuff is gross. Eh. Like just never knew or understood why people even used it. Cause I thought it was the most off-putting flavor that you could ever put on food, let alone eat. <laughs> um, yeah, it was crazy. So I came across an article from Tom Mueller. He wrote the book extra virginity and kind of lighted or put a limelight on the United States and how our industry in this category is not regulated by our U S government. And so kind of a light bulb went off and I was like, I that's why I didn't like it because I was eating rancid olive oil. And sure enough, that was the case. So hmm. I searched for about a year in total, I would say before I opened my first pop-up location just for the holidays to see what could be. And it kind of blew up in my face. And here we are now fast forward 10 years. It's it's really evolved over the years. I added the restaurant. Um, I we do so many things. So in a nutshell, that's, it was, you know, somebody's health that was at risk of, you know, having to be put on medication is the reason that I really started right looking into and kind of just stumbled upon it, to be honest. Like I wasn't looking for olive oil to, you know, change chemistry because I didn't know right. even at that time that it, that's what it did. So, and that relative, uh, he was able to get his, um, blood pressure down and everything. Yeah. Just with using yeah. the products. It's ultra premium standard too. So we do, we are much different than your typical um, grocery store bought oil in this country. Yep. Um, our oils are unfiltered. They're not chemically heat treated or processed. And our growers um, have to follow a very strict regulation for the ultra premium brand. And with that comes like an amazing, amazing product. Okay. So. Wow. Yeah, that's awesome. And so when it comes to the benefits of olive oil and um, balsamic vinegar, what were what are some different um, benefits that people can look at, you know, getting if they start adding an olive oil regimen or balsamic vinegar and balsamic um, vinegar? Yeah. So interesting enough, they actually have opposite health benefits. Um, a lot of people think when they come in here that, you know, if I just have one in my diet, it's going to do the same thing as the other. And that's completely false. Um, the olive oils, uh, just some of the main ones that I like to touch on, because there's not too many people I meet nowadays that don't have one or all the things that I'm going to mention. Um, inflammation, obviously, is a huge one. Everybody has inflammation, just, you know, environmentally exposed to our elements. There's a lot of chemicals and a lot of issues with our planet and we I mean anytime you go outside or exposing yourself to all of those things so it does reduce inflammation mm. um, it reduces cholesterol levels your bad LDLs so those will go down um, blood pressure levels ours are also very very high in oleocanthia and oleocanthia has been found to be anti-cancer fighting properties so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People, family or yourself have you know had issues with cancer, it's a great regimen to obviously try to combat those mm -hmm. free radicals and the cancer issues. Um, what else? Oh, it helps renew skin cells because um, it has high levels of squalene. And so there's 27 phenols in olives that make olives a powerhouse in a sense. Mm -hmm. So that's why ours are so amazing because we're not filtering any of those biophenols out of the, out of the oils when we're, we're processing the oil because 
we're processing at an early harvest rate too. So that's what's another thing that's extremely different with us is that we allow the fruit to even oxidize or overripen because when you do that, yes, you get a higher yield and you can make more money, but you also diminish its health benefits and nutrients that are derived naturally in olives uh, by doing that. And that's what you'll find in a lot of box companies, what they do, you know, because they're, for instance, I'll use Greece for an example. Um, before they were an ultra premium brand, they would harvest end of November, early December, and now coming in as um, ultra premium, they start at the end of September. So, oh, okay. Yeah, it's a huge difference. You know, you're starting That's months crazy. beforehand. Yeah. So your olive really has time to even mature. Yep. Um, and that's what we want. And with that, with the science part of it, which is what I find very fi fa fascinating, is that to a certain degree, you can like dictate the chemistry that you're going to get or hopefully mm -hmm. get should just by changing environmental situations because mm. you're not in that too. you know because if you think about it olives are on a tree the ones on the top of the tree are getting the most sunlight so they're going to turn uh -huh. the quickest yep. but then as they eat they plump up they lose their ability to even stay on the tree so they might fall to the ground and then get infected with insects or pesticides and then they're picking these all up right that are already over ripened and crushing them they're getting that high yield, but that's the reason that they're having to process those oils because they have all those those profiles that we wouldn't want to consume or taste as Americans. We're right. kind of a dumping ground in countries. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> so, that's, yeah. Um, that's really good information to know though, because there's like a ton of science that goes behind all of that. I feel like that, you know, we don't even think about it when we you know people go to the grocery store and buy olive oil thinking they're getting a heart healthy good oil um yeah so what do you guys offer do you guys have like online where people can order as well yeah we do out yeah. um online there's health benefits online there's recipes pairing lists um it lists out the health benefits too so like like I was saying before, the opposite of the olive oil for the balsamic, the balsamics are going to regulate blood sugar levels, um, increase your metabolism, detoxify your body. So mm -hmm. we do have the counterparts together work magically, in my opinion, that mm -hmm. it's almost like you'd be used doing yourself a disadvantage to not, you know, have both of them in your life yeah. on some, you know, whether it's water or food or just shots. Right the recommended dosage every day for both products so okay. and it's not very much like two tablespoons a day oil and vinegar get you know gives you the significant um change i guess in your chemistry so it doesn't require a lot of effort yeah um even, you know you can still get these products into your by just yeah that's wonderful. Yeah. So like, what would you say just the two tablespoons of the high quality oil and two s tablespoons of the balsamic vinegar, and then they just drink yeah. it? Yes, exactly. Like, you know, I have a lot of people that are like, well, I don't cook. I don't want to, you know, have all these flavors. That's totally fine. You don't have to cook to actually the products. It's, I, I compare it a lot to like taking a multivitamin, right? Mm -hmm. You're not take a vitamin you're not cooking to do some of these health regimen people still do but even like working out you go to the gym and work out right well taking a shot of oil and vinegar doesn't require really any effort on anybody's part other than pouring it out of a container into a shot glass and taking it right so that i mean it's the most simplistic highest impact food product i think there is out there mm. as long as you're under percent new on products you know because the united states has no regulation you really it's buyer beware yep. um if you're not educated in it and you think that what you're buying at the grocery store is what's good and then it's not you're spending the money on it and you're not getting the health benefits so that's right. it's a struggle you know it's just it, it, i feel like with most things in this country education and not just power and being aware of things Yes. And maybe questioning them mm -hmm. as to where they're getting to us. 
is a good question to start with, I you know, love that, yeah, that's so important. Cause I feel like we definitely are having a lot of crud put into our food and stuff as Americans and that it's not, you know, it's not regulated like it is in Europe. <laughs> it is like, it's just, I've been a lot uh, lately. There's, you know, it's, it's weird to me because I've been in the food industry my entire life. And just recently, there's a lot of stuff coming to the forefront on like, you know, processed snack snacks, I'll call them that, you know, a lot of children that are very, very high in blue number one or red, thir- you know, like the yellow yeah. dyes, the reds, the like, and now they're seeing that the offset of all of these things are major medical health conditions on people right. that we didn't know years ago. And it's like, at some point we need to wake up and realize what we're putting in our bodies is not necessarily good for them. Mm-hmm. So. Yes. Yes. That is so well put. Um, So uh, can you tell us a little bit about Reese and Riley's and like, um, and you said that you guys do offer online ordering. So if people are in another state and want to order from you guys, they can. Yep. Ship to the United States and Canada right now. Good. Um, Yep. We, I, I'm trying to get more involved with doing like how to videos, but like there's an extensive amount of recipes and pairing lists on the website. And then also okay. like, uh, PDFs files of like the health benefits, our rewards. We do harvest every six months. So our extra virgin olive oils do change every six months, which is I think kind of, um, confusing for people because okay. you know, the, hundred varietals of olives in the world and obviously we're not crushing every single varietal these are single varietal right. they're not blended with other olives or other oils they are 100 percent pure to their cultivars so mm-hmm. for instance like coratina or a muslina those change with harvest because of the hemisphere because we're getting fresh products from the northern and the southern hemispheres so we're able to accomplish getting fresh product into the united states every six months Mm, so yeah and the chemistry changes so sometimes you'll have this unique unicorn is what i like to call them that are super super high in biophenols you know we had one recently that was almost 1200 biophenols coming from grace named the healthiest olive oil in the world wow and people think that we can just keep getting it right so it's like that's not how it works like once you process olives off of the tree they have to regenerate right and then it goes into the next harvest so that's a whole year of that tree regenerating its fruit and then next year depending on the the soil the temperature the weather environments that that same coratina might not have that same number interesting that is yeah. so interesting how it's just like unique every year kind of like yeah. how we're all different right that is so interesting I just love that um and then when it comes to um people that you know maybe they've got olive oil tasting rooms nearby where they live what is something to look into because I know that when we talked before you were saying that some there are unfortunately some olive oil tasting rooms out there that are not legit Yes. And are selling the same level as grocery stores. So what can people do to arm themselves so that they know they're getting the best quality olive oil and balsamic vinegar? Like I said before, knowledge is power. But I, the two things that I always tell people is obviously asking them where their products are coming from. Okay. And then um, asking for crush dates. So crush dates allow you to know how fresh or how old oh. the oil the origin, in my opinion, doesn't really dictate quality, freshness, any of that. It's just, it's different, right? Like not all cultivars grow in all regions. Um, what you grow in Greece might not grow in Peru or in California. So it's, it's, it's just like looking at fruits and vegetables, right? Certain things thrive in certain environments. That's mm-hmm. the way you get olives and olive trees. But asking for crush dates is a huge, huge factor that I mean, if you like, what are you talking about? You should look at them and say, what are you talking about? (laughs) (laughs) And maybe look for a different olive oil person. Steve, I wouldn't waste my money. Um, Another red flag is uh, containers. So if they're packaging or bottling their products in clear glass or plastic, um, huge red flag. And that's due to the fact that 
olive oil oxidizes with air and light. So like if you ever go to the grocery store, walk down that aisle and just see how many products are actually packaged in the clear containers. And think about this, you have this bottle of oil sitting here and then fluorescent lights looking down on it, shining its nice little rays right into the bottle. So what do you think is happening to that bottle as it sits on the shelf? It's yeah. literally oxidizing and going rancid in its own container. So uh -huh. the packaging and the crush dates are pretty good in, you know, indicators. If you uh -huh. ask, I have no idea what you are even, if you're speaking Greek to them. Yeah. Yeah. Then, yeah. Run. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh my goodness. That's, good, what... that's good information. <laughs> and then also, I know that you had mentioned that you have um, customers who come in and will actually bring like their, like their blood, like their workup and everything from the doctor with their like blood count and their, all their numbers and stuff. And what are some things that you have found with that and everything like people just coming in looking for ways to improve overall health, obviously, but, um, I'm really big, especially right now. I've been learning a lot about metabolic health and the factors that affect us as, as, in, as humans for metabolic health, there's five of them. Um, and two of them are huge for that cross over into the olive oil world in a sense, like cholesterol, blood pressure, triglycerides, glucose levels, and then visceral fat, your waist circumference, um, olive oil will, can reduce three out of those, well, four technically out of the five. And then the glucose levels you can regulate with the balsamic vinegar. But it's interesting to me to see how many people in this country have blood pressure issues, cholesterol issues, or both. I mm -hmm. mean, if that's not screaming issues, I don't know what else to say yeah. because eerie to me that so many people are on all these medications mm. for blood pressure and cholesterol, you know, just like the simplest things. Yeah. Um, it's like, I don't even know. It's just, it's like everybody has it. It's like, a, it's like becoming normalized, which. Yeah. Scary. It, yeah. And these products can really reduce those numbers. Uh, recently, um, not that long ago, I had a client, you know, she had just had a full lipid panel and she was able to reduce her cholesterol levels, 22 points in four weeks. Wow. So it's very, you're consistent with it. Yeah. yeah. And so she, wasn't, she didn't have to go on cholesterol medication. She was in my store because it was borderline. And, you know, another thing that I find interesting amongst people in general, but Americans especially is that we don't tend to do anything about our health until we have to, you know, there's no proactive kind of state of mind. It's always, no. Oh, I've got cancer. Oh, I just had a heart attack. Oh, I got high blood pressure. You didn't just get high blood pressure overnight, yeah. honey. Like it, like it was leading up to it. <laughs> yeah. So like, why are we not taking care of our bodies? Like we take care of our cars and get yeah. regular oil changes. You know what I mean? Like, right. Just it's just the mentality of the things like it's so backwards to me, you know, or why do we spend more money on a pair of shoes than we do a bottle of olive oil? Like yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. Oh, something's That's, wrong. It is. <laughs> yeah. That's a good point. Very good point. I love that. Um, okay. And then you were talking too about the water. Um, like how like if people struggle to drink water, what is your go-to with the balsamic vinegar trick? <laughs> Um, I have a lot to choose from, so there's that, but, um, I don't know. I've been drinking it for so long right now. I will say right now, I, haven't. I we have a newer balsamic called leche and I mix it with the peach, mm -hmm. um, sometimes a little coconut. I like to layer flavors cause I am a flavor freak. I mean, before I used to have 80% condiments in my fridge and 20% food. And now I have the food and no condiments because I don't buy condiments anymore. I got yep. rid of all my spices. But hydration um, probably was one of the biggest impactful switches to my life because I knew what dehydration was, but I didn't know to what degree it affected me personally um, because I never thought that I was dehydrated when in all actuality, I was always dehydrated because I was drinking upwards of, you know, six Diet Cokes a day or I joke and I'm like, I would have wine. So Diet Coke and wine was my hydration for the day. <laughs> <So> <laughs> I, 
but uh just mistakenly in one of the stores one day I had to choke down a bottle of water because I passionately hate water I I legitimately can't stand water Mm -hmm. so not adding flavor to it I don't I mean I don't who likes to drink plain water all day long? I mean, come on, let's be honest here. It's yeah. boring. <laughs> right. Like, there's so many other tasty things that I'd rather be sipping down on. Yeah. Water, plain water? No. <laughs> so I teach him my water one day, and that's kind of how it was born. Mm-hmm. And now I can actually tell when I'm dehydrated. Like I get a little jittery. Um, I sometimes get a headache. But yeah. it's 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 awesome to see how intuitive you can get with your own body and knowing when you're dehydrated, because I didn't have that insight prior to doing the vinegars. Right. And because so low um, in calories, there's no fat grams, there's no added sugars. It is the most natural way to flavor your water besides just putting whole fruit in it. Honestly, wow. that's essentially a balsamic state yep. and they have really high levels of alkaline. So it's going to coat all your internal organs and kind of shield it against, you know, diseases or, you know, illnesses and make it so that you can, that you don't get sick. It yeah. has like this amazing immunity to it. So. Okay. Lovely. And for that, um, is there a certain amount of tablespoons or teaspoons that you usually put in your water in the morning? Uh, oh. Kind of rule of thumb is like two tablespoons for 32 ounces of water. But if you get like me, you just pour and taste, pour and, pour and taste. taste and see what you yeah. like. <laughs> that yeah. totally makes sense. Yep. I like my little <laughs> so I tend to, you know, be a little heavier with mine. Plus I'm always mixing more than yeah. I'm two, sometimes four flavors. It's a little crazy, but yeah, <laughs> but I'm sure it's yummy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very good. Very awesome. good. Awesome. Cool. Well, that was awesome. And so if people are interested in finding out more about you guys, um, like your website, and then you're located in Moorhead, Minnesota. Yeah. Um, and uh, how many olive oil and vinegars do you guys usually carry? Um, In-house right now, I think we're at 68. Yeah. And we have an extensive collection. I think it's one of the largest I've ever seen. Um, amongst any tasting rooms but we have a majority of the collection in-house and then um, yeah we have the recentrallies.com where you can order online you can find recipes or you can just come to the brick and mortar the brick and mortar obviously offers a tasting experience you can try as many of them as you want it's a try before you buy kind of situation and we really um, pride ourselves in allowing people to try as many of them but also not sampling with bread because that's another red flag so if you go into other places and they're sampling their products with bread what are we tasting people the bread not the- <laughs> Not the right. Oh my gosh. I never thought of that. Yes. It totally disguises their products. So you don't know what you're actually tasting. You are tasting oil and vinegar on bread. Yeah. You are tasting bread. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That is, that is so interesting. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. my word. Well, thank you so much for this chat, Christine. And it was just lovely. I enjoy chatting with you because I feel like I could talk for hours and hours about all yeah. of this stuff with you because it's just, yeah, it's so important. And that, like you said, um, I think that we all need to start taking control of our health now before anything, you know, like you were saying, any diseases or illnesses pop in and yeah, it's just it's easier to correct before it gets worse. You know what I mean? Like recovering yeah. from our back is not fun. You know, I don't know any of that. It's just interesting too. Like, you know, you don't hear people are like, Oh, I'm on all these medications and I feel amazing. Like no, yeah. they don't. So yeah, I, I yeah. agree with you. There needs yeah. to be a move. <laughs> a movement. Let's begin it. Let's start it. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm Let's on board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me today, Christine. Yeah, you have a great rest of your day. You too. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>